So now our friends at Microsoft are sending emails to certain lucky Windows 10 users that state some frequently asked questions. So it says end of support for Windows 10 is approaching. And there's a frequently asked question section that says, what does that mean for me? So it says, as of October 14th, 2025, Microsoft will no longer provide free updates for Windows 10. They're going to offer security updates for $30 a year if you do keep Windows 10. So another section of this email says, what can I do with my old computer? It says you can trade it, trade it in. Like a car, you can trade in a car. You can trade in an old PC now. That, that's news to me. I've never heard of that one before. It also says you can recycle it, which means basically throwing it in the garbage. So, so another section of this email goes on to say, will my Windows PC stop working? So their answer is no. Your Windows 10 PC will continue to work, but support will be discontinued, okay? Now, of course, they, another section is Windows 11 more secure. Well, of course it is because it's going to continue to get security updates, right? But they say, well, Windows 11 is the most secure operating system we've ever built with uh, antivirus, firewall, internet protection, and so on. And they say uh, in this little box, they say, if you plan on keeping to use Windows 10, which we don't recommend, you should back up your files to OneDrive. So when the internet apocalypse comes, you have a backup. So it's really kind of disappointing. I was hoping that Microsoft would come out with a version of Windows 11, especially for older PCs. I think a lot of people were kind of thinking they might do that but apparently not, and it's getting closer and closer to that October deadline. So it looks like this is the real deal. Windows 10 users are gonna to have to think out of the box. If you're gonna keep it, the most important thing to do is keep your antivirus protection up to date. Don't go on any risky websites or open risky emails. Yeah, so it's going to get a little more difficult. If you can try Linux, try that. But if you really like Windows 10, you can stick with it. You just have to be careful.